morning, everyone. Nearly 100 workers in Denmark will soon be out of a job. Minnesota-based Land O'Lakes, with $14 billion a year in sales, told workers today it will close its Denmark cheesemaking plant. But the company also says it will be expanding another area plant. Fox 11's Kelly Schlicht has been on the story tonight. And Kelly, first Denmark and its 92 workers. Why is that plant closing? Tom, Land O'Lakes said in a statement earlier today that semi-soft Italian cheeses made in Denmark just aren't as profitable. I sat down with a man who has made those cheeses for 32 years. Here is his story. Well, it was a good place to work, uh, good wages, good benefits, good insurance. I mean, it was just a good place to work. A few years from retirement, Rick Van Grohl says he's now out of a job. Spring of 82, uh, and been there ever since. One of them deals, get out of high school, started there, and never went anywhere else. Thursday, Land O'Lakes told Van Grohl and more than 90 other workers the plant is closing in July. They weren't sticking no money into the plant. I mean, it's just all telltale signs. And I saw it coming. A lot of people didn't. Um, still kind of a kick in the gut when you actually, you know, hear it for the first time, but. Land O'Lakes declined an interview with Fox 11 today, but in a statement, the company said it will be increasing capacity at its Keel plant, known for its award-winning cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese production. Land O'Lakes would not say when the multi-million dollars of high-tech upgrades to the Keel plant would start, or if the workers from here in Denmark would be hired. Van Grohl says he doesn't know if his position will be needed in Kiel. They just don't need as many guys as they used to. So I don't believe there's going to be that many jobs to be had in Kiel. But um, if they offered them, I'm sure some of us guys would go. Despite having to search for a job for the first time since high school, Van Grohl remains optimistic. Time to start over. Um, start looking and time to start over. Land O'Lakes says the layoffs will begin on July 1st and last two to three weeks. Van Grohl says he thinks the impact will reach beyond just the workers who are employed there.